Just in time for the 4th of July, the second annual Rose City Air Fest kicked off today at Tyler Pounds Regional Airport. It's a great show, and KDK's Katie Pratt right now has her goggles on. Actually, she doesn't, but she looks good anyway. She's looking at all the fun. Katie. Neil Casey, lots of fun is happening out here at the annual Rose City Air Fest, and it's all about America and celebrating East Texas veterans. And do you still love flying today? Absolutely. <laughs> I, I, I tell people that airplanes are my first love, and my wife slaps me every time I say that. <laughs> Major General Paul Landers flew on 389 missions in the Vietnam War as the forward air controller. He's flying the same type of aircraft at the Airfest, the Bird Dog. It was used for surveillance. It was used for marking targets on the ground for all of the all of the bombers and all the fighter jets up high. It was also uh, used to mark areas on the ground to where all of the artil artillery up high would uh, fire down on the ground, get rid of the enemy, and bring out the good people. East Texans were meeting war veterans, watching the flight crews, and celebrating the red, white, and blue ahead of the holiday weekend. I think this kind of an air show is important. Uh, it's a patriotic event for one thing, which we need right now. And it's also a way to remind people that military aviation played an important part in the development of the country. There's only two B-29 planes still flying today, and you can expect to see this one flying the Rose City Air Fest today. It's benefiting Camp V um, as far as just bringing it out here, showing the children, showing the people that these birds still fly. They still exist, and uh, just seeing them in action, just like they were back in Vietnam in the Korean War. All ticket sales directly benefit the Veteran Resource Center, Camp V. All right, these airplanes are about to take off any moment, but there is still plenty of time to stop by and plenty of fun to be had, so I'm going to go ahead and send it back to y'all, but I'm reporting live in Tyler, Katie Pratt, KTK News.